Riders ready? Of course I bloody am. Sticks up like a sore asshole, doesn't it? Cut then. Woo! Oh God. No. So how are we all bloody doing today? Just eating a pear. So uh, last time we was here, it was minus four and it was snowing. Now it's more like sort of 12 degrees. It's been a lot of rain, so look, oh my God. It's literally like clay, so uh, get some of this dirt, finish off this rock side. I finally got that big rock out, give it a nice sort of pat down, and then a uh, little bit more dirt on top, and I think the landing actually is complete. It's at about 40 degrees, once it's patted up through, this bottom's a little bit steeper, but it should be all right. Once I fill it over, then uh, it's gonna be sort of a wall right up there. And then the top half is pretty much self-explanatory. Just kind of wind down and off the drop. Can't do this until it's uh, really dry, because at the moment it's literally like... Mush. It's very greasy. Juicy? So juicy, like. <laughs> Love pears. That is unreal. So yeah, there'll be a shoot that kind of comes in between these trees and then sort of dips in here. So we kind of shape it better. It's got this massive slab there. So kind of blend that in, but use that dirt for the landing, which looks incredible. So we've just dug out the side, found some good dirt and it's already looking amazing. I mean, it's a little bit wavy, but I've got plenty of dirt here to kind of keep patting on top. Leave that side for now and uh, sort out my sort of drop bit. He's ready to go. It's not looking as big now. Now we brought the landing up a little bit. It's not looking nearly near as big. It's still big. It's still big, but not as big as it was when the landing was like sort of down here. I mean, it'd be better to sort of gap more and get in down this bottom piece. I think it'd be sick. Mind your eyes. Yeah, I honestly reckon one more visit, one more sprinkle of dirt over the top, let all the rain sort of get on this, fill in that sort of little gap up there, then this mouth just keep patting it, patting it. Mm -hmm. So I want it solid when I land on it, I don't want it soft, I don't want to sink into it. Then it's sort out this bottom piece. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, even if I just sort of do the drop first, I'm not able to come in from the top because it's so like slimy and wet. That'd be cool. I'll be happy with that. Perfect. That's a in the corner. Now you can see my line fully. So from that top bit in, down this sort of channel here, like I say, you dip him around that corner. I would dip around that corner or come down this bit. I'm not too sure yet. So how is this landing looking? Oh man, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I see the pickaxe at this corner a little bit, which keeps me away from this wall. And that is literally spot on. It's literally right in there. I think I need to build up this corner a little bit, like I said to you, 
So you kind of look it over just on that right side. But yeah, that's perfect. Probably get the rope, tie against that tree so I can sort of dangle here and then sort this bit out and then, uh, yeah, that'd be good to go. Yeah, there's something about this big slab here I love. Sort of coming through the middle of it. Obviously I can get rid of that. I can sort of come down like here and then around. And like I say, if I sort of dig all this out, so I've got a nice flat area, it's a bit bumpy at the moment and then boom. Yeah, just take off that corner. All it is is loose rock. My back is finally on the mend. Gave myself a crazy old uh, click the other day. It kind of surprised me, but it was needed. Oh. To most normal people, that is disgusting. I fully understand, but uh, I've had that issue for bloody years and years and years. What tends to happen, I have a real bad crash. My back completely seizes up, like bruises up. I then got to wait for a while. I finally get that pop back into action. Disgusting, but it works. I mean, when I get older, I mean older, older, I'm gonna regret it, but uh, until then, just gotta keep on, do you know what I mean? Well, that holly bush is nice, Grace. Bloody lovely, isn't it? Ah. Yeah, for the last few months, back at work, we kind of agreed to change our hours. So uh, we narrowed down the days from Monday to Thursday, rather than Monday to Friday, but all those extra hours had to go into the four days. So I don't see daylight. I literally start at seven, finish at half five, and oh my god, I'm like a vampire till the weekend. And even at the weekend, we haven't had much sunshine, so uh, I've definitely uh, felt it in my uh, mental health. Been a fucking lunatic, to be honest, haven't I? Yeah. I'm like, ah, fucking what? This is a corner rock garden. It is indeed. And then you can do a safe mud route here. You Check out the lines. Down there? Yeah, if you get it wrong, you disappear down there. If you get it extra wrong, straight in a thistle bush. If you get it wrong down there, holly bush. And uh, if you crash first, I end up in your bush. Do you know what I mean? Ugh. That is incredible, isn't it? What a mess that is. I feel like I've got to walk across it and get some sort of picture. This thing is massive. Yeah, she's thick. Holy smoly. Smoly? Holy smoly. <laughs> That is incredible. A little bit slippery up here, but... New tea drop? <laughs> yeah, it could be. Just to wind them up a little bit. If yeah, it is so chunky, you won't have to put any slats on it. Just slap it off there. I don't know where you go, but you can do it. There's a little ladder there, look. You can ride on here. And you gap off into, like, into there. So yeah, I'll be back, definitely. I'm gonna literally start there. I'm gonna cycle up. That's gonna be gone. I'm gonna go all the way up to that bit there and then drop into this bank. I mean, obviously going downhill will be better, but there's nowhere to kind of land. It's just a flat. My days of landing flat are over. How on earth is that still standing? Yeah, that's incredible. It's actually got like a crazy drop coming off of it over the fence into here. <laughs> nice little sheltered area underneath as well. Wow. Wow, what a hole. Whose idea was this? No, it was yours. It's like refreshing, it's just... Refreshing? Just going up hills. Jesus! Ah! I prefer the sunshine, to be honest. Oh, oh my 
my God. My pull-up bar was bending, so I machined a bit of chrome to kind of protect it. Look at that. Absolutely solid, mate. Look at that. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. Yes. Ooh. And I machined a bit of tube to go inside my back roller because uh, you can see it cracked. That's so weird when you look like that, look. Like you're spinning a circle, look. Ooh. Oh my God. That's so strange. It's like another dimension. <laughs> no chance. I ain't smoking the reefer. Proper vlog today. Just had a parcel come through the door. Absolute legends. As part of my raffle that I'm doing soon, I still haven't sort of worked out what exactly I am going to do. It's all a work in progress. Obviously, I have the hoodie that Pedal Apparel sent me, the Trash Rats one. They also sent me another new t-shirt to put in the raffle. Look how nice that is. That material is lush as well. I will keep it exactly like that. It is a large. The hoodies are large as well. So yeah, that goes in the raffle. I know a lot of you follow Pedal Apparel already, but if you don't, give them a follow on Instagram. Honestly, their clothing range is awesome. It just gets better and better. The long sleeve tops, the kind of just basic workout tops, the hoodies, the woolly hats. I don't think they got socks yet or thongs. Grace did say she wants a nice uh, Pedal Apparel thong. Bit kinky and all that. And just for a laugh, as part of this raffle, I machined up some mini basket pegs. They're kind of like thimbles. You can just put them on your mantelpiece or something. I mean, the color is awesome. They're just miniature basket pegs. Once upon a time, I made these for scooter kids because, uh, well, they're proper dickheads, but you know, they asked me nicely at the skate park, can I make them some pegs? So I did, but uh, I made a couple recently just for memorabilia, I suppose. I don't know, I don't know what you do with them. Throw them at people. Would make a good shotty tube. Bit oversized, but you just have to pack it right out. Horse lungs and all that. But yeah. yeah. Just chuck them on in. Another quality mission at the big landing. MVP on a mad one again. So much easier when it's wet rather than frozen solid. I think so. <laughs> uh, yeah, the reason why Grace mentioned tea drop is because uh, it's getting demolished tomorrow. There's a big hoo-ha on Facebook. Karen dobbed me in, but I don't care anymore. Got to kind of forget about that shit. Tea drop was fun while it lasted. Uh, I'll happily admit, they always said they didn't want sort of man-made wood in the woodland, and I kind of was a bit cheeky about that. It'd be very interesting how they actually leave that spot. Normally they sort of just chop the tree, leave it on the floor. If I can kind of reclaim the slats, I will for another spot, but uh, it is what it is, isn't it, Daisy? Do you know what I mean? Cat knows the score. Like I can say, we are a soldier down, but we got more soldiers to come. Nice bit of rain on that landing right now. More dirt over the top. Sort out the, the actual drop bit. And then uh, I think what I end up doing is doing the drop first. And then uh, when it comes summer, I'll be able to do the sort of lining from the top because it is so bloody slimy. So uh, yeah, just a random little video sorting out my mental health and that. It's the best thing for it. That's the main reason why the MVP likes helping me. We both agreed, when you're actually in that zone, digging, all that stuff, hours just fly by. And within those hours, all you thought about is uh, the job in hand. You've not thought about anything else. And it's just the best thing. You kind of walk away, you're like, huh, I've literally not thought about fuck all whilst I was in there doing all that. So uh, yeah, what do you think of my landing so far? I think it looks mighty bloody fine. The drop is not looking as big as it did before because the landing's like taking shape, but it's still gonna be an absolute beast. Definitely wanna get a photo snapped on doing that drop as well. So that'd be fucking cool. And uh, it's time for some snacks and uh, a new series of Homeland. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Oh boy for now. Oh man, I need to get out of these clothes. The actual dirt in that quarry is just like orange clay, even goes through the gloves. Yeah, at the moment it's so greasy, but looks so bloody good. Holy crap. <laughs>